but I'm disgusted at her lack of apology. And she just blames Epstein. It's like, I'm being convicted because of my association with Epstein. No, you trafficked underage girls. You trafficked children for sex. That's why <laughs> you've gone down for 20 years. I hope, like you, though, that she stays for the full 20 and nothing bad happens to her like Epstein because I would like her to really suffer that proper full punishment. Yeah, I think, I mean, just to pick up on Julia's point, I mean, I, I watched quite a lot of this trial when it was happening. So much to me just didn't. I'm not a lawyer, but a lot of this didn't make sense. I'm yeah. thinking, hang on, so this is... She's guilty of trafficking four girls. Firstly, where are all the other where are all the other victims? And we are talking about, I mean, probably hundreds. We're talking yeah. about hundreds. You're at Lolita Express, mm -hmm. Pedophile Island, all of these things. Big names. Other than Epstein, who killed himself apparently in jail. Mm -hmm. Other than him, where are all the other perpetrators of this this yeah. crime? Why have they not been there? Why did she not name them in court? You'd think if you're about to face the rest of your life in jail, you might suddenly Why start they swing, singing like a the deal up for her. Just be like, you know, for every person. Did anybody you ever get, ask? You get, you get, Six months off, not just a month. Six months for every person that you... you because these people are Well, shrouded. no, six months off for every person involved. Don't know, she, she, we'd be paying her back in time, wouldn't but, we? But yeah. yeah, but, you know, I'm sure the inmates will <laughs> sort her out. Eventually. But we're missing, but, <laughs> we're missing victims, we're yeah, missing exactly. perpetrators here. But these, me these men who perpetrated these crimes against these girls are shrouded in privacy and security and all sorts. I mean, we're talking high-level politicians. She would have known who we're they were. We're talking about some of the most famous and richest men in, in the, the world. world yeah. Aisha, if she was genuinely, as she said, she empathised with the victims, if she was genuinely sorry and genuinely empathised with girls who'd been raped on a daily basis by, by men five times their age, really, I mean, do you think she, would, uh, she wouldn't have named names by now? I, I totally agree with you. I mean, I agree with all the um, comments from, from the panel tonight. I, I don't think she she has shown empathy and if you go back at the earlier stages of the the trial her legal team took quite an aggressive hostile stance against quite a few of the women who were bringing charges basically saying that they were up for it you know all the old kind of tropes about these wow. kinds of of girls so i don't think she's shown any remorse and what's interesting is like if you look at her brothers and sisters and of course she is from this very very famous family the the, the daughter of, of robert maxwell there's a very interesting documentary about the maxwells and it's very interesting because her father was quite a a difficult, controlling yeah. person. And I think there's definitely some sort of daddy issues in terms there of Jeffrey yeah, Epstein. Fair. But that is not any kind of excuse. But it was interesting that the way her family were between it, she was always the victim. It was like she was the victim. Yeah. And I know, you know, we sort of had a bit of a chat about this before, and I know kind of gender shouldn't be the, the sole thing, but I think what's particularly kind of creepy about her involvement in it is because she was a woman, that helped lure yeah. these young girls I, I try in. not to think that it should make a difference, but I know it does. When we're, we're the same when we have a, a mother who kills their child as opposed yeah. to a, a yeah. father who kills their child. We do just have that reaction because it is rarer, because it is less likely to happen. What do you make, JJ, of the fact that the only person actually convicted of this series of crimes, of course, Jeffrey Epstein had been convicted on a deal many, many years earlier, um, has been a woman, when we know that the large majority of these crimes were perpetrated by men. By men. Um, it's insane, and like you guys have already said, the people who, who did these horrible actions must be incredibly rich and incredibly powerful, with, with their fingers in, in pies all over the place, and we're never going to find out who these people are now. Well, we, we, we know yeah, a lot of the names, so? don't we? Of the, we know, we, we've seen a lot of the Little Black Book. We know a lot of the people who've been pictured, who other, other people in lots of the documentaries have said, you know, this person was on the yeah. island, this person flew on the plane, we've got plane logs. So yeah. why have none of those why? been Well, uh, look, because, I mean, look, you've hit the nail on the head earlier. These are some of the most powerful human beings on the planet. And I know everyone's going to think crazy conspiracy theory on this... I think these people are so powerful. Yeah. I think they have people all across this case in every way. But and I, I'm not sure because wouldn't I mean? Yes, you're right. They are. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of rich, powerful people. We know that you know some who didn't even do anything wrong, parting with twelve and a half million quid. So you know, but we know. <laughs> yeah. we, we never know met that, her. Never met her. Never met, no. her. Yeah. Well, yeah. Never met anybody. But there you As go. Paying there's, money to uh, a ghost. Twelve and a half million. <laughs> but but, it, but but surely Maxwell herself, or even some of the the, the victims, would have no, sang like I, it, wouldn't they? Just no, said, no, what about this man, this man, this man, this man? Why is that I not coming? I think 
I think there's something even deeper going on I, here. I genuinely believe that, I think honestly, there is something. I'm because sorry, it doesn't I, make sense. Yeah. It you, doesn't make sense. If you look at what's happened, so, you know, we've had these reports from Rochdale and Rotherham of these uh, sex grooming gangs in the UK. These are men with no, no real money, no real power, and people were covering up for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So imagine yeah. how much you can cover up if you're a billionaire or you used yeah, to be a very high-ranking official this probably in the American goes, government. Not exactly. This probably goes into the deepest bits of politics as well. You know, it's probably a nexus of politics business, the media, royalty, like it's a complete heady mix. Yeah. There are some yeah. really powerful forces. There's more to